Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today. And we're going to talk about housing boa constrictors. All right, like this little guy right here. But we're going to talk about all the different ways you can house them because we had one of our followers write us in and ask about showing the many different things that you can do and the many different ways of which you can keep a boa constrictor as a pet. Just before we get into that, right in that bottom corner, right there, will be our subscriber button. Make sure you hit that and we appreciate you doing so. And then we appreciate you following along week after week after week. Now let's get right into this. All right, so we have the beautiful boa constrictor. Beautiful little baby here. Just a little BCI mutt, boa constrictor imperator. But these make amazing, amazing pets. Okay, so as our subscriber wrote us in and asked us if we could show examples of the many different ways and things you can do. I'm going to show examples. I'm not going to show the boa in every single one. That would have taken a lot of time to do, considering a lot of what I'm going to show you is our actual exhibits in the zoo. Okay, however... I am going to talk about and show you different examples of things that you can do with boa constrictors. Now, in the meantime, you will see some video playing and some pictures up here as I'm talking and going over some of this information. You'll see some additional examples with different animals here in the zoo in them, Burmese, an iguana, water dragons. There's all kinds of things you're going to see, like these two, water monitor, or I'm sorry, the Nile monitor here, and the carpet python is, oh, it's in its water dish. All right, so... You won't see the carpet unless he decides to get out and go ahead and start climbing like he does throughout the day. As we're getting into this, quite simply, this right here is probably two of the best ways you can keep a boa constrictor. But a lot of people don't have this kind of space or that's inside their home and maybe they're not just trying to build this big elaborate you know, exhibit in their living room or in their bedroom or a spare bedroom. So what's some other things that you can do? Okay, well, there's a lot of examples of things that you can do if you don't have the ability or just don't want to do something like this, okay? Examples of many different ways of doing that. As you see here, you can take things like china cabinets. It's already been stained. It's already been sealed. Uh, pull your shelves out. It's already glass around. It usually comes with some kind of a little tab lock or something like that. And you can always decorate that up to look kind of like this. You can take jewelry display cases like this right here. A lot of folks will use those for like small boas, for ball pythons, for bearded dragons, for carpets, for corn snakes, for many different species, because jewelry display cases do get pretty doggone big, just not arboreal. Now, yes, boas love climbing and they do it really, really well, especially as babies, they're, they're almost strictly arboreal. Now, as they become adults, they are still great climbers and they do climb around quite a bit, but they'll also spend some time on the ground too. So as adults, you can do equal amounts of both if you want. So a lot of folks will bash on other folks if they don't have them in arboreal tanks. And then some folks never give, you know, snake any climbing room at all by only ever keeping them in rack systems, tub systems, or even like the terrestrial enclosures that you see for like Burmese python, reed ticks, things like that. So with that being said, you can do many different styles of habitat, as it were, for your boa constrictor. You can do arboreal like these, or you can do terrestrial PVC enclosures like these. Some folks will do rack systems. I'm not a big fan of the rack systems when it starts coming to the larger snakes. It's just not quite enough room. But again, room is a relative term if the animal's not going to use. I mean, you put a snake in this size of an enclosure and it uses about that much space, then it doesn't really care to have that size of enclosure, okay? So again, understand your species and don't get too caught up on grand, you know, grandeur. Because I mean, I use it. As we're continuing to go along with this, you see in the videos here, there's many different ways in which you can set up a boa constrictor habitat and many different ways in which you can house them. The key thing is making sure they have the proper amount of heat, the proper amount of, and I'm going to say very carefully, humidity in the air. Yes, they're a tropical species, but remember in enclosed spaces like this, it's not so much humidity as stagnant, moist air causes fungal infections, bacterial infections, respiratory infections can cause all kinds of problems, all right? If you're going to set something up like this, then make sure you have some kind of a little fan that will at least help circulate, I mean, even a computer fan, something's about that big that would be for essentially for computers, modems, things like that, and you can put it somewhere 
and it will circulate enough air to keep it from just being stagnant and moist and retain that moisture. Now, some folks will use things like bird cages, flight bird cages. Those work great as long as you're sure that it's not going to get out of it. Um, you can decorate and put sticks and limbs and stuff absolutely everywhere. It's an open air enclosure, kind of like what a chameleon would have. Same concept applies, it's just a lot thicker metal and it would retain the animal. But there's so many different ideas and ways and things to be able to do when it comes to setting up your boa constrictor. It's just a matter of mimicking their natural environment. So they're from heavy forested to more jungle region environments. And so they just need plenty of things to climb on. You could do bioactive ecosystems with them. Again, you have to be careful, okay? Because even in complete tropical environments, there still are dry areas where sunlight comes through. Uh, the canopy and will hit maybe rocks or the ground or things like that. So not everything is soaking wet even in the tropical rainforest, not all the time. Yes, it is a lot of the time, but not all the time. It's called microclimates, okay? So while there's wet everywhere, there will be patches and spots of dry because the animals will go to the sunlight and even hanging out on a limb, if he's hanging out on a limb and there's a bunch of moisture everywhere, but he's hanging out on a limb directly in direct sunlight, he's not going to be on direct wet bedding or wet surfaces 24 7 okay now if you really want to go the most elaborate i've seen two people do this inside their home they took a portion of course it was a pretty big doggone living room but they took a pretty big portion of their living room and actually built a full walk-in pen as it were for one for an iguana, one for a boa constrictor, all right? Now, let's do something here. If you really want to go the most elaborate, you can do something like this right here. So this right here is our full walk-in indoor rainforest, and you're only seeing a portion of it. You can set up, <laughs> not many people are going to, but you could set up something like this that you could walk into, a uh, six by six pen, an eight by eight pen, uh, 10 by 10 pin, 10, 10 foot square, 8 foot square, you know, 6 foot tall, 7 foot tall, whatever the, you know, interior dimensions of your house or building. You can even set up in spare bedroom. Some folks will have enough bedrooms that they can actually set up spare bedrooms and they can fully decorate it. If you have the ability to do that, rock on, go for it. Uh, you'll find your boa absolutely loves it uh, and will utilize a lot of the space. It'll be a thriving, flourishing animal. But not everybody and very few people are absolutely able to do this kind of elaborateness. So most of the time you're gonna be dealing with things like what you've seen before. Just remember that the more stuff you put inside of the habitat, the better off the snake is gonna be because these animals do like to climb and they don't feel comfortable if they don't have enough body surface touching other surfaces. So it will cause them to freak out. That's why you see a lot of animals freaking out on the snake hook because if all they have is the tail and then the, that body hanging out on there, they're flailing around because they, they just don't feel comfortable. Feel like they're either gonna fall or they just don't have a good enough grip on something so that they don't fall, all right? So hopefully this has been helpful and talking about different things that you can do to house your boa constrictor in and different ways to house your boa constrictor. There's many, many different options. There is no real full 100% perfect way, there's many right ways. There are wrong ways to house your boa constrictor, but there's many different right ways to be able to do this. And hopefully this gives you some ideas and is helpful for you in setting up your boa constrictor. All right. This is Chad. We are the reptile rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. And we do have the pet storefront. We are the reptile rangers. We hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure to follow along. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell for notification. Make sure to go check out the TikTok channel entitled Reptile Rangers. Make sure to go check out the Instagram page entitled Kernelsville Reptile Zoo. Also, like I said, we have the storefront. We have many, many people buying all the supplies they need, pets, and all kinds of different things. Come see us here at the zoo. And if you have any questions, any need any help with anything, our information will be in the description below. We do appreciate you coming along week after week after week. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.